So we're joined by artist and filmmaker Preston Zeller. Preston Zeller. Preston Zeller to learn more about how he was able to cope with his own grief and use art. Art to grieve the loss of his brother who died of a drug overdose. We had a typical older brother, younger brother relationship. Mm -hmm. He was always pushing me to do bigger and better things. He created a documentary called The Art of Grieving. One work of art every single day for an entire year. My name is Preston Zeller, and I paint abstract, intuitive artwork. The Art of Grieving was a documentary I produced in 2022, and it was really made as a tool to use this story, my story, as a reflection of perhaps what they needed to do to go through their own grief and, and move through it at a, a pace that's going to be more healing to them. In 2019, uh, my brother passed away from uh, a drug overdose. I found myself in the aftermath of that very much trying to reconcile the emotions I was experiencing and how to, to go through life normally. I was very candid with people who I had relationships with, friends, family, and realizing that they didn't know how to understand or empathize with what I was going through. And that awkwardness told me that the subject of grief and death were things that most people aren't familiar with talking about or expressing how they feel. Going through this really intense artistic process for myself uh, and sharing that journey was going to be the best way to put myself through a healing path, but then also be able to release something where others could use it as a conversation piece, good or bad, as long as it gets them talking about it. For those who haven't seen the documentary or seen a picture of it, of the mosaic, it's, it's this giant 10 foot by 20 foot collection of 365 paintings. It's huge, takes up a lot of space. That was a very particular kind of exercise in that it was a lot of small pieces. Painting I'm currently working on, it's called Messy Middle, is actually a 10 foot by four and a half foot painting. So it's a totally different dynamic when you're in a single large canvas. This painting, Messy Middle, was inspired in part by this process of painting for a year and, and grief, but it zoomed out from that in a way. From a, a grieving standpoint, a lot of us have the goal to just, you know, heal and feel normal again, whatever that normal feels like, but not feel like I'm just so sad, it's how will life move on? Like that's a goal in and of itself. Trying to figure out how to navigate that goal and how to achieve success, it's hard to keep going on sometimes. That is what the messy middle is all about. And I know I experienced that throughout the process of painting for a year and doing the documentary. And there's some North Star that keeps you motivated, knowing that we can all relate to this idea of life feeling messy at times. I really start with the story behind what I'm trying to communicate. There are certain techniques in abstract for myself that help communicate parts of a story better than others. The colors that I'm going to use and what's the symbolism behind those. I wanted it to have sort of a double entendre. So yes, look like the middle of it was messy to some degree, but also that something greater was being birthed out of that mess. Abstract art for me, it's the way I've approached many creative forms. I've been playing music a long time, and so improving is a form of that in some way. You're translating these emotions and thoughts that you feel into something that is nondescript. My painting style is intuitive abstract or abstract expressionism. It brings forth 
more emotive motions in the brushwork and how it's delivered to the canvas. And it allows you to actually craft something that's more a projection of your mind. You have conflict in paintings too, and that you know is also partly what makes it interesting. Using abstract gives a, an opportunity for those viewing it to actually really attribute their own story to it. As I painted the middle section of turned into this really cool just explosion of colors and shapes, the painting took on this underwater deep sea vibe as well, which was not intentional, but that's actually, to me, the beauty of abstract art is as you're working through it, you sort of discover these nuances about the piece that were unintentional and actually makes the piece better. It's really exciting, especially the more you layer. Materials wise, it's acrylic paint, but I'll use different thicknesses. I'll also use rubbing alcohol sometimes, which has a nice effect in breaking apart paint pigments. And then of course, there's different ways to put paint on a canvas, whether you're gonna throw it, whether you're going to use certain types of brushes, probably gonna be using different types of spatulas or you're blowing the paint on with compressed air. Spray paint's kind of a fun one to experiment with as well. So on the left side of this painting is sort of this entrance into this journey. You'll notice on the left and right, the ribbons are coming out of and going into um, a sort of silver portal. As you follow this ribbon into the center, it's this ball of emotion and ads that you have to find your way through. And the right side ribbon is really where you discover the conclusion of your journey. For those going through grief, um, it's oftentimes that people get stuck in this, this rut of like, it's, it's inescapable and it is to some degree. And so what I've experienced and what I'd say to you is that grief isn't going to really shrink so much as that you're going to grow around grief and you're gonna become a much better version of yourself um, than you are today. Find something that you can pour that emotion into, something healthy. This painting was created for the founders of a technology company called Batch Service. The reveal was really uh, kind of an exciting thing that was meant to be for just the founders and other people in the office gathered around, which was kind of exciting. You never know how people are going to respond when you when you reveal a painting for the first time. They don't know what to expect. You know, even if they think they know what to expect, it's abstract. That's why I love to share the story because then they get to really kind of connect the dots with how I painted it. The intent was really to tell their story, growing a, a business in a fast growth mode and what that can feel like. Jesse, Annie, and Evo, um, all people I'm close with, it's a reminder for them to keep going on and keep pursuing and knowing that there are gonna be, again, those tough decisions to make. If you've watched the film, I want to thank you so much for taking the time to watch it and being open-minded about um, my own grief experience, but also what the art therapist, Lindsay Lederman, has to say in the documentary and also the historical look into what other cultures and artists have done. I hope that it inspires you in your own journey to go pick up some paints. Go create something that's gonna help you work through your own emotions. And grief is not just limited to loss of someone. Grief could be loss of an experience or a loss of an opportunity that you may um, have had taken from you. Whatever the case may be, I hope that you go and you pursue a healthy path to recovery and find new opportunities for yourself. My name is Preston Zeller. Go own your story.
just a few reviews that I have had on IMDb or I've seen on social media. This is a woman named Allison. I watched this and was inspired by the beautiful art created through grief and I'm going to give it a go. My son is an artist and I've asked him to set up a canvas and I will go with the flow. Who knows what I will create? I have no idea. I will let it happen. Another gentleman named Mick from the UK, he said, I have to admit, having been and worked with many, many grieving people, this film really touched me. I love the clever way it shows us how to live with grieving in such a beautiful way. You will never not miss a loved one, but expressing that inner loss can be difficult and every single one of us is unique. We love art and we had a very special sweet soul crossover and this is just what we need as an artist at heart. I think this is an amazing thing y'all are doing with y'all's platform. Thank you for making this for us to enjoy.